Network comes to business on hour here on Classic FM 97.3 station and plays every song you know. Business on hour is brought to you by Unity Bank. I am Ifai Atama. My name is Bukola and we're good to go. As always, we have our dear from Now Matrix with us in the studio this morning. And good morning, yay. Bukola. Bukola. Good morning, Ifai. It's, it's, good morning. It, it was a great weekend. Good morning, it was. A fantastic weekend. Um, thank you guys. Welcome to Business Half Hour, sponsored by Unity Bank and brought to you by Classic FM in partnership with Naira Metrics. While we're waiting, our guest Shola Animashan, who's trying to connect, we just want to say um, um, thum thumbs up to my brother, my friend, my partner, Ugodre, and the Naira Metrics team on their award as the best blog of 2021. We'll go more grease to your elbow. And I also want to thank Ifai and Bukola for making this show a great show every Monday morning between hello, 8 hello. and 8 30. I want to also thank Unity Bank for giving, for giving us the support that they've been giving us over the last month. Back to you if I and Bukola. Great stuff. Not Congratulations. Bad, not bad to us yet. Though. Send thank us you. wine, wine, wine. <laughs> Will you send the wine? Did you wait till you <laughs> I'll be waiting you guys. <laughs> because some people had their, their birthdays on Friday. We didn't see rice. We didn't see anything. <laughs> so you didn't see you guys. Okay, don't worry. You will see. <laughs> Shola, can uh, you hear no, me? Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good, good morning, morning. Shola. Great to have you on the show. <laughs> hey, Lins, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Maz. Oh, so how okay, are you? Welcome to class. Thank you for having me. Mm. Shala Ali Mashal um, is a multi-award winning visual storyteller, uh, speaker, educator, and author. Um, he's a professional photographer, cinematographer, specialized in editorials, uh, documentary, commercial photography, and video productions. Once again, good morning, Shala. Good morning, sir. How you doing, everybody? We're good. Oh, you're so, you're, you're hyped up this morning, and I like the energy. I think it affected me as well. <laughs> Yes, it comes, it comes with the profession, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know, pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm naturally hyped, though. <laughs> oh. So tell us, tell us more about Shola and, and his foray into storytelling and, and um, visuals and photography. Okay, so uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Shola Adimashan. I'm a visual storyteller. And I started when I went for my NYSC uh, 19 years ago. So I bought a camera while I was in Illinois, while I was working three jobs in Illinois Choir State. And the, the reason why I bought my camera was because I wanted to document my life as a UCOR member because I'd had so, uh, so <laughs> much news about um, the life of a UCOPER and all of that. So I just wanted to document that. Now, while I was doing that, um, while I was documenting my own life, I realized that some people wanted me to do some part of theirs as well. And they were offering me money to do that. So, and after my NYSC uh, 2002, 2003, I came back to Lagos, um, uh, looked for job uh, between two and three years, and I could not get, you understand? I did several interviews, several tests, Hello, yeah. you there? Okay, yeah. you can hear. So I did several interviews, several tests. At some point, one of my siblings that I used to stay with was like, Shola, if you are if, if, if you passed any of these interviews, they would have called you. You understand? So eventually I got uh I did an interview with an accounting firm and I was offered employment and I was supposed to travel to Abuja and start working as an accountant. And by the time I got home, I packed all my bags and I was so quite excited, called two of my brothers that I'm leaving Lagos today and I'm heading to Abuja. And they were like, please wait, don't leave till you see us. And I packed all my bags and my brothers came and they were like, ah, Shola, what about that thing that you love? I said, what thing? Do I love? And you are like photography. I'm like photography. Then, and I said, I now told one of them that was it not you that said the best picture that I have is the one that the head was cut, that my photography was not <laughs> fantastic enough. And he told me, <laughs> and he told me that uh, that see, sometimes when you have passion about things, if you don't start it as a business, you may never end up doing them. And I'm like, oh wow, 
So I listened to them. And the next day, I went to return the 5,000 naira that I was given to take night bus to Abuja. You understand? To take night bus to Abuja to start uh, working okay. as an accountant. And by the time I got there, the CEO of the accounting firm was like, why are you not the same guy that said you've been waiting three years for this? And I said, yes, but then things just change over the night. And it was like, so what do you want to do with your life now? And I said, I want to live my dream as a visual storyteller, as a photographer, documenting people's life, documenting people's finest memories. And he said, I wish you all the best. And I said, I really need that. You understand? So that was how my journey started. And since that time, uh, <laughs> well, that was how my journey started into the world of photography and visual storytelling. Yeah. Wow. What's the difference between visual storytelling, photography, and cinematography? Hello, Jala. Right. It's frozen here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> technology is, is good, but sometimes technology is good. Lost your lab briefly. <laughs> he's, he's a photographer. He's, he's on the move. He's ex All right. Okay. Sure. Sure. So, do we yeah. have are you, are you back on? Yeah, it's a lot. Yes. It's like it's. It's like he went to work. He went. He went out early to get some money this morning. So I was rushing money. to it's the office where I will have good lighting, <laughs> better okay. internet connection, so that I can communicate perfectly. So okay. I'm I'm right. in the office now. Yeah. So I asked the question earlier. I said, "What's the difference between if a, I, a visual yeah. storyteller, a cinematographer, and a photographer?" Okay. So basically, it's um, so basically it's um, one of the same. What is visual storytelling? Visuals has to do with the themes that you see. Uh, you're talking of pictures, you're talking of video. You're, so it's more like the same. So if I'm introducing myself, I'll tell you that I'm a visual storyteller and why you're wondering what that is, I will break it down and tell you that um, I tell people stories, brand stories, entrepreneur stories, uh, stories of uh, clients with pictures and with video. So mm -hmm. it's more of the same. It's just grammar to repackage it than saying that, you know right. what, I'm Brandy. in photo. <laughs> All right, um, Shola, you, you know, you talked about yeah. your story, walking away from that accounting job because, and you know, that was, that was a, a constant pain. You know, you were going to get a constant payment from that particular job, but you decided to, you know, venture into the uncertainty. Tell me, at some point, did you ever regret making that move, you know, saying okay thank you but i don't want anymore i just want to follow my passion did you ever oh you mean uh, do i ever regret picking up photography yes yeah. I mean, yeah picking up the job i uh, giving give, not taking the job i'm picking up photography saying to yourself this is what i want to do because you know sometimes regular pay gives you this sense of security yeah okay thank you very much for that question um when you were asking that question, if you could see my face, I was smiling and I was, I mean, my brain from here to here. There was never a time I regretted that. Never a time. I, I love the fact that I have the freedom of time. I love the fact that I have the freedom to wake up whatever time I want. I love the fact that I can take on any assignment that I want. I, you, you know, so by the time I turned out that job, I think I was 25 years old or 26 years old or, or thereabouts at that time. And once you can get in, into a white collar establishment within the age of 20, 21, 22, it probably will be hard for you, you understand? So immediately I turned that down. I knew I was saying bye-bye, finally, to a white collar job. I knew that I'd burnt my breach to a white collar job, I knew that it would be difficult to take back. You understand? So I bought that, that boat. It was forward forever. You understand? So I decided that, see, this path that I'm going to follow, I'm going to be successful with it. Now, it was a time that my mom called and she was like, um, shall I have that you, that you turn down the job in an accounting firm? And I said, yes, mom. She was like, uh, so what are you planning to do now? And I told her that I want to follow my pattern. And she was like, which is... I said photography. She was like, hey, Jesu. <laughs> then the next thing she said is that, please start looking for another job in case it does not work out. Works. 
And and, and, and that you brings know me to I answered my mom. So, sorry, I sorry I need to quickly ask this, and that brings me to the next question. You know, a lot of young people today will tell you, "Oh, I need to get that job. I need to get that job." And how does it feel that you took your future into your hands? And how inspiring has it been for you to, you know, show the light to a lot of young people of deciding that you need to go through this journey as difficult as it, may, it might have been? So when I decided to pick um, um, storytelling up, which is photography for me, I didn't have it all figured out. I knew just like I came on the show and you could sense that I'm excited. I'm always excited. But when I came back to Lagos and I was looking for a job over a long period of time, that excitement died totally. At some point, I started feeling like I was not good enough. I was not brilliant enough. I was not intellectually sound enough. Then at some point, at some point, my brother will wake me up every time and he will ask me a pertinent question. And he will say, Shola, what do you want to do with your life? At a particular point when this question was daily, I woke up one day and I, I decided that, you know what, I have a good response for this guy. So when he asked me that question, I was like, please, can you suggest what I can do with my life? And he said, I can't suggest it is your life. Now, I didn't have it all figured out. But then in my down times, when things were not working at, at a particular point, I could not eat anymore. So my wife's brother will cook, bring food for me in the morning and, and say, uh, Uncle Shola, this is your food. And I will be in the same room till the afternoon. And he, she will knock on my door. Um, uh, the lunch is ready. And I will have to go and flush the food away so that they will not see that I'm not eating. I didn't have it all figured out, you understand? But then I knew by the time they told me what I was excited about, by the time they reminded me of the kind of enthusiasm I had when I was holding the camera, I remembered and I'm like, why did I let this giant sleep? Now, guess what? When I turned down the accounting job, I did not know that photography will, 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 will make me happy. Now, a lot of people are doing the kind of jobs that they want, but it's not making them happy. You understand? But then, Happiness is a very vital thing that you can't pay for. So a lot of people will wake up three o'clock, four o'clock, head to a job uh, from mainland to the island and get back uh, late at night for a job that they are really not happy about. Now, at the end of the day, when I started, I realized that I was ready. You understand? I was, you know, the excitement, uh, I mean, the excitement that I'm, going to do what I love again for the rest of my life, fuels the energy to start with a vigor. Now, by this time I started, by the second month, I was making four times the amount of money that the accounting firm was going to pay me. Mm. Really? Your so what's your first big job? So what's your first big job? <laughs> your first big job, Shola? And how did you feel when you got your first And I have a camera. <laughs> Come again. Uh -huh. I said, what was your first big job? What was your first big job like? And how did you feel? I mean, when you got that first door that hit you and you're like, wow. Oh, oh okay. Uh, my first, okay, so my first big my first big job was uh, from Globalcom. And it was called Global Globalcom Campus Tom. You understand that was the height of the career of a rugged man, and I was on the global camp, uh, global camp campus tour with rugged man, with Jimmy Jazz, with uh, uh, Basket Mouse, traveling the whole of Nigeria. You understand? So we went. Um, um, we went for a meeting and they were like, uh, okay, who is going to handle the photography? And they pointed to me and they were like, oh, young man, are you sure you can do this job? I was like, in my head, I wanted to say, ha, ah, please, just try me. You will never regret it. But then I comforted but myself I, and I'm like, oh, yes. I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Shula. How did you get the job? Did you have to know someone in there or did your work speak for itself? So it was a referral you understand, because at that time, I was still a rookie building up portfolio. 
you understand. Yeah. But then at that time, I was working jobs, you understand, shooting for different magazines in league. Someone saw some of the assignment that I had done, some of the portfolio I had done, and they referred me, you understand. So you need to have a portfolio so that when people refer you. Now, the good thing is that when someone that's trustworthy refers you, you understand, someone with um, no questionable character per se, you understand, and they say, this guy is good. You understand, there's a tendency that people will believe. Um, I always tell people that Ode or Ted Ola can only refer you to the likes of Dangote. You understand? So <laughs> that would how. Hello. Yeah. Okay, Shala, okay. you're back. Okay, quick one. You mentioned something about portfolios. Well, well, and, uh, let's take a short. Let's take a short break. Can you okay. Just okay. okay, we'll take a short break and then we'll yeah. come back and we'll take that question, Shola. So right. just get ready. No right. problem. Shola, do you drink coffee? Shola, oh, I, ask I love it. Question. Not so much. <laughs> yeah, I love it, but not so much. I love it. I love, I love coffee. Energy, The energy is extremely high. See, it's a natural high, oh, it's a natural high. So I wonder how it will be like if I smoke weed. I just wonder how it will be like. It's like OTP. <laughs> Now, this is just me naturally. I'm on a natural high. We're back on, we're back on. Okay, Shola, I was just about to ask a question. Um, oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Business of Army on Classic FM 97.3, and we have the super. Right, Shola and Marshall in the studio with us this morning. Remember, Business of R is brought to you by Unity Bank and support uh, with my metrics. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Shola, welcome, welcome back, welcome back to the show. We're really having great fun today, Thank if you. I am, Bukola. Um, and it's because Shola is hyper. Shola, you mentioned something about portfolios and a lot of, a lot of, people will ask, why do you need to build a portfolio even when you have not even gotten the kind of success that you're looking for? Thank you very much for that intelligent question. So in, in the world of visual arts, when you tell people that, oh, you know what, I'm a photographer, you know the first question they will ask you, can I see what you had worked on? You understand? So because it is visual, you need to show. So it's more of show and tell, you understand? So a little talking, more showing. Now, one of the reasons why portfolios, it's very crucial to, um, well, well, portfolio is very crucial to any businessman. So, so, so see, for example, now, if you do voiceover, I, I suppose you do voiceover, right? Sometimes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so <laughs> imagine if you do voiceover and someone was talking about you, and they were like, "Oh, oh, I know this amazing lady. I know this amazing guy. He could do voiceover for you." The first thing people are going to ask you is, "Can you send me samples of the jobs you are done?" Do you understand? Now, one of the reasons why create. Hello. Can you hear him? Shola, we're losing you. Shola froze again. You know, when we are little, that's Pose. that dance. <laughs> that we are, we like are that. Like that. <laughs> Change your style. <laughs> that's how Shola is this morning. Shola is like that. <laughs> but it's been quite an interesting story, yes, Shola. Yes. And that was you want to be on the table of can we afford you then we will get back to you. Well, Shola, Shola are you still there? It's it's, no, it's, like it's like it's like the hyper Shola has the waves have taken over this way for now. Um wanted to say something wow. like Yes, I, I was saying that the, the hyper bit of Shola has you know the, his waves are much more than the zoom waves that are passing through. But, but, you know, it's interesting for it to be 
when you have like a plum job, what looks like a plum job, yes. and you say to yourself, yeah. let me take a path that mm. seems quite uncertain. Mm. It, takes really? it, it, takes, takes it takes a lot. It takes a lot. And he was also um, quite lucky, I must say, that you know you have uh, Can you hear me? I'm here. Okay, we uh, can hear you. We can hear you, but it's breaking. Can you hear us? If I go on, please. Yeah, so I mean, like you're quite lucky when you have a supportive family. Some people are trapped in their jobs because they didn't get the support of their families to pursue this kind of dream. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, we've lost Shola finally, but I'm sure he's going to try and come back in. Yes, but it's it, it's really, yeah, that's tech for you. It's really interesting, if I what you said about family yeah. and friends mm -hmm. really supporting mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. you know, today, everybody says, oh, go get a job. You don't have that nine to five. How are you going to yeah. feed your family? How are you going to do this? But at yeah. the end of the day, many times I tell people, your passion and your love makes you happy. And at the end of the day, it pays off. It does mm. pay off. That's right. So we just have to um, jump. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, so. <laughs> well, calculated. Just jump. Well, some people talk about calculated risk, and um, you taking that calculated mm. risk. Can we say shall I take the calculated risk? Yes, because yes. I always ask myself this question before I do anything: What's the worst that can happen, mm -hmm. and what's the best that can happen? You know, if you if you measure those things, if you weigh them on a seesaw, and you think to yourself, okay, what's the worst that can happen if I don't do this? Uh -huh. but, uh, you know, you suffer a bit and then you probably get another job. Mm -hmm. And then what's the best that can happen? You can be a shala uh, and mashal. So, yeah. you, so, so if, you, if you look at it, maybe the benefits will far outweigh whatever losses or, 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 or risks that, you, that you're trying to take. You just, just jump, just do it. Just, I totally just, agree with you, you're fine. Because I, I, sometimes you need to just take that plunge and you find out that you make some mistakes along the line, but they're learning lessons and learning curves that would help you become better every day. True. Um, we shouldn't give up We're on still our expecting Shola, but, at all. but time, like we always say, time is never our friend on BHH. So maybe once we get a sponsor that can give us an R with plenty of money, mm -hmm. if I might just decide to extend the show. Yes. But for today, um, time is running out um, and Shola is not coming back on, but you were listening to Shola Anima Shaun, a, a um, visual storyteller who told us how he got into his passion of photography and how he has um, started ruling his own world by himself and not letting um, other people decide the directions that he should go. And one thing that I take away from him is the ability to build the things that would help you yes. ensure that tomorrow will be a better day. Um, I just hope Shola can come in back. Okay, he's back in. And um, yeah, Shola, we're Nigeria, having... uh, apologies guys. Yeah, sure. Um, thank you. So if I, yeah. two last questions. So you take the last one, which you know what, what it is. But mm -hmm. Shola, quickly, um, you've been in this business for the last 19 years. Where do you see the, I'm not talking about you. You've done great things. Where do you see the business in the next 10 years? And what will be your advice to the people who are coming into this business? Okay, uh, let me take the last question first. My advice to people coming into the business is to, um the 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 entry point is low that means a lot of people can pick their camera and want to become a photographer and i want um i want people to know that regardless of whatever reason you have you understand to start photography or video wow. production the reason is valid enough, you understand. Importantly, keep in mind that you know about coming to the you understand the money will come. Don't put it as the first um as what you need first. You understand? Make sure you solve people's problem. If you once you once you make a decision to solve people's problem, you understand and prefer a solution, you understand it will be very easy for you to, to make the kind of money you want to make, solve problem, have it in mind. Because if, if your mission was to make a lot of money, see, you're going to make a lot of money, you understand? But then make it a personal duty to solve people's problem. Now, the future of uh, the business, I see technology playing, technology is playing a lot of role already. Technology will play huge, huge roles. But then um, the human interaction 
cannot be overemphasized. You can be skillful. You, you know what? You can deliver um, amazing, amazing services. But then if nobody refers you after experiencing you for the first time, you'll be out of business. So your good interpersonal relationship will take you to the next level, regardless of the technological advancement. I hope that helps. Mm. Oh, yes. Um, time is not our friend, just like uh, who I mentioned. But you have to have whatever it is that's making you this hyper, this full of energy every morning when you wake up. What is that line? That, something that tells you in your head, you know, that keeps you going. Your quotes. Um, so my quote will be, when you have... Uh, we didn't hear that. You have to say it again. Teach. I think that was okay. When you no, no, have, no. Give, okay. when you learn, teach. It was said by wow. Maya Angelou. Now, you won't believe that I've been up since 3 a.m. You understand? And I didn't know that this show is coming uh, this fast, early in the morning. But see, the, the, when you're excited about, when you're, when you're grateful to see the day like this. I've had opportunity to work with uh, on documentaries that people without eyes, you understand, have businesses. People that cannot hear, you understand, have online businesses, you understand. So I feel privileged to have eyes, to have hands, to be able to see you guys, to be able to have conversation with you. So it gives me joy that I have another plain sheet to rewrite a legacy for myself. So that is hey. where my natural high comes from. All right. Thank you very much, Shola Anima Shao. It's been a, a pleasure talking to you and it's been really, really interesting. But like Shola I'm said, fine. when you have, you give. When you learn, you teach. Great words from May Angelou. Back mm. to you, Fine, in the studio. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Uwa. Once again, uh, thank you, uh, Shola Anima Shao. Um, it is time for us to take a short